Hi there, it's Jenny from Ginger Ninja Crafts and I am here with my Embellish With Us Wednesday video. I'm going to be sipping on my Pepsi, uh, Diet Pepsi because I seem to have a tickly throat. Um, so excuse me for doing that, but it's better than me coughing and spluttering, I think. So Embellish With Us Wednesday is an open collaboration it's hosted by two lovely crafters, um, Marianne from Marianne's Craft Corner and Lilo's Craft, Lilo Craft. You'll find them both linked in the description box for this video. Anybody can join in, so, and there's no pressure to do it every week. <coughs> I am on a wee bit of a roll with these, I have to say though. I find them a little bit addictive. Once you start, it's hard to stop at the moment. So the idea is that you make embellishments and you share them in a video. Um, just use that hashtag and if you want to see lots of embellishments, click on that hashtag and you're going to get a whole list of videos that people have been making. So, and there's something for everybody. It's amazing to see all the different styles and materials and things that people are doing. Just fabulous. Excuse me my my mug this is my sky sky brewery where is it isle of sky brewery brewing company we went there i think we were there about this time last year maybe a week or so back anyway i'm gonna start blethering off again so so to me who is not <laughs> into tennis at all, um, other than when Andy Murray is doing well, then the whole of the country, Scotland, becomes a bit obsessed with tennis. But what I had was a tennis racket die set, so I have made these little super cute tennis rackets. So the die set is from, who is it, Lee, Lee Abilities, Leanne Abilities. I will write it in the description, something like that. And it came with the little tennis ball and the racket. So I, for each embellishment, I cut the racket out of this kind of silver um, Centura Pearl card. It's quite thick. So I cut three of them. I cut the handle bit out of a little bit of coloured card. And then what I did was I glued around the back of the frame bit only, bracket bit, and just stuck that onto some vellum. Once it was dry, I trimmed around it and then I layered up the back, the other two. So it's quite, you know, it's quite sturdy. Um, the little tennis balls, I could not find a yellow highlighter in my house which I was a bit annoyed about so or like a bit of luminous yellow card or something couldn't find it so I used this um, Spectrum Noir Tri Blend in the light yellow blend and I used all three and actually that's quite nice because it gives you a bit of shade doesn't it and then I took a fine liner green and drove, uh, drove? <laughs> drew <laughs> around the groove. That's where the drove came from. The drew and the groove. Oh, goodness. Now I've got another one. This one here, I've just got to stick my little tennis ball on. I've stuck them on with a couple of little... 3D pads so that it kind of sticks up. So I've got two pink and two of these greeny ones, turquoisey. And then what else is Wimbledon famous for in terms of me, the non sporty person, is strawberries and cream. Now, I <coughs> could not find a straw a cream or a jug dye in my collection, which shocks me because. I would be embarrassed to show you my dye, my dye collection, 
but I did have some cute little strawberries. So I cut them out of just white card. I've coloured them all in now. And then I coloured them in. Now, again, I used a Tri-Blend Spectrum Noir for the leafy bit. This is the Alpine Green Blend. And then for the strawberry, these are quite new. The other day, I had to take my hubby to the garage. Um, his car was getting serviced. So I followed him there in the morning and then brought him home. And then I dropped him off in the afternoon to pick it up. And there is a works shop <coughs> close by. So I thought, well, I'll drop him at the garage. I'll nip to the works. I might just have a little look and see. Now, for some reason, I always go through the red alcohol pens in my stash quite quickly. So these were in a pack. I think there was five or six. Five, I think, in a pack. They are Nouveau. No, Nova. Nouveau is tonic. Can you see that? Nova. They were, I think they were five pounds for five pens and they had various different colours and I mean I did treat myself earlier this year or last year to some Copics and they are amazing. These are definitely not in the same league in terms of the nib. They've got one sort of fat end and one pointy end but it's not a nice brush nib like the Copics. But do you know what? For colouring in die cuts like these, they did a smashing job. I wouldn't probably go for them for colouring in, you know, stamps and things where you want a bit more of a fine effect, but they were really good for this. So I made a little green sort of, well, I thought it was going to be a plate and then I thought strawberries are way out of the proportion to the plate, but anyway. And then I added the word love because, you know, tennis, 40 love and all that. Um, so I just cut that out a couple of times. I've no idea who, who made that die. It's just in my little sentiments folder. So yes, so I've got four of those. So I haven't made my little um, topper or anything yet. But hopefully next week... Um, I will have got that done and I can show you what I've made. Um, so I hope that you like my little Wimbledon tennis themed embellishments. Um, and if you did, please leave me a like and a comment. Let me know what you think. Um, and yeah. I'm looking forward to seeing what everybody else has been making for this week. So thank you so much for watching and um, if you're new to my channel, welcome. If you've enjoyed what you've seen, um, why not hit subscribe and I'll be back very soon. I'm back with a Twinchy Thursday video tomorrow and um, yeah, who knows after that. I've not got, not got it all planned out just yet. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you very soon. Bye now.